Hey guys, alright, we're gonna check out a couple of licks that I really like to play on a major scale. Um, I get asked a lot about how to take a major scale and make some interesting patterns that don't sound all flowers and bunnies, you know. So this one is a, a cool way to kind of associate some darker sounding licks out of what is a major pattern. So we have our G major scale, uh, starting on the third fret of the G. And basically, I'll walk through the pattern real quick. So you have three, five, seven on your E string, A string, same thing. Three, five, seven. The D and G are four, five, seven. The B have five, seven, eight. Same with the high E and backwards. Very, very popular scale. I'm sure most of you know this by now. Um, so basically, the idea is we're taking this scale, we're gonna play two licks and then drop into some of the chords that are in the key. So uh, the first lick we're starting on the fourth fret on the D string, and I'm gonna hammer on from four to five with my second finger, and do the uh, the G string, fourth fret. So it's kind of the outer part of the scale here. As I'm playing the pattern, you want to still visualize this shape. That's not gonna change. We're pulling notes from that pattern. So we have the edge here on the, the D and the G string basically. Then we're gonna jump over to the pinky on the B string. So that again if I run my scale here, right there, last note on that pink on the uh, the B string with the pinky. So I'm gonna grab that and then resolve to the seventh fret with my third finger. So that's my first lick. And from there I'm gonna drop into my sixth chord, the E minor. Which really kind of sends home that minor sound. The next look I'm starting on the G string 4th fret and I'm going to hammer on from 4 to 5 to 7 so I'm going straight up that string and then I'm going to drop my pinky down kind of rolling it here to grab the 7th fret on the high E string. So the fingers are going to be kind of flat because I've already played the, uh, the G string note so I'm going to roll down and grab my uh, resolution note which will be the, the 5th fret here, it's an A with my second finger. And from there I'm going to drop into the 2 chord, which they share that note, which is kind of a nice resolution. So that part one more time, I've got 4, 5, 7 hammer on, drop to the 7 on the high E string, and then 5th fret on the high E into the 2 chord. So, so far I have this. Alright, now I'm going to play the same, uh, the, the first lick again, and I'm going to resolve to the 3 chord. So here's the lick, and that note right here, the 7th fret, is in this bar chord, it's in the 3 chord, right there. So I want to kind of connect that way, and then I'm going to play the second lick again, back to my 2 chord. And that gives me my progression. And what's neat about that is not only are you learning a couple of cool licks, uh, you're also getting that practice of going from single notes to chords. So it really kind of challenges your your technique. And it's just fun. It sounds kind of neat. You don't need any, you know, you don't need a full band behind you or a backing track to make the, the lick sound kind of cool. So one more time, here we go. <laughs> And of course, you know, since we're just in the key of G, you could take your main chords, your one, two, three, four, five, and six, and you could practice taking those two licks and ending on different chords just to try different sounds. All right, so have fun with that, and uh, as always, we're uh, pushing the whole visual thing, so stay tuned for more. And if uh, you want to kind of stay fresh with what's going on, you know, try to subscribe, and uh, I'll throw uh, more videos up, and you can make that uh, visual connection between some of the, the theory and uh, its actual application. So have fun! <laughs>